Hi everyone. Welcome to the kitchen here at Quick and Carry Bags. We are in beautiful Traverse City, Michigan on a sunny August day and I'm here to bring you a wonderful recipe. My name is Kristen Madrine and I work for the company that invented the Quick and Carry Bag. This is a bag to carry your instant pot or other electric pressure cooker. And these are a wonderful bag. I'll show you that in just a few minutes, but I wanna talk a little bit more about what we're gonna do here today. Uh, one of my uh, Instant Pot friends is a woman from Chicago named Julie Hahn. She has a great blog and uh, it's called Instantly Delicious. And on her blog the other day, I found a beautiful uh, lemon cake. Uh, it's called the Instant Pot Lemon Yogurt Cake and um, we are going to make it for you here this afternoon. Here at Quick and Carry Bags, we believe in uh, the hashtag, take your instant pot to work. And we have a great little kitchen here, it's very simple, but if we can do it here, you can do it in your office, uh, wherever you work. So I wanna say hi to all of you that are joining me here live today. And I also wanna say hello to any of you who pick us up later and watch uh, after the live feed is done. So let me first introduce you to our cool bag. We make bags for uh, both the six quart and eight quart pressure cookers. Uh, in the future, we will make one for the cute little mini that's just come out. Thanks, Instant Pot, you're keeping us on our toes. I wanna show you a little bit about our bag. First of all, we have a wonderful feature which is this top pocket. And uh, I don't think you can see it, but I have flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, all the things that I need for my recipe fit right in this round part on the top. You can even put a pie in here. You can keep utensils in it. Our bag has straps, both a shoulder strap and a carry strap so that you can take your Instant Pot wherever you go. You open up the bottom and inside, there's your pressure cooker. So this is a wonderful and handy way to take your pressure cooker to um, picnics, to um, the Instant Pot parties that a lot of people get together and make recipes with each other, uh, taking it um, camping with you uh, to your ski lodge this winter, whatever you need. Also, there's a handy bag, uh, a handy pocket here in front that you can keep the manual, cookbooks, or other stuff that you're going to need um, to cook with. So, this is a great bag and uh, it's extremely sturdy. Now, I'd like to also show you what we're making today. Here is a finished one of the lemon cakes. As you can see, they're very cute. The Instant Pot is made so that you can use one of these seven inch um, cake pans in it. And as you can see, I've already prepared the cake pan by buttering it and flouring it so that it's ready to go when our batter is finished. So as with any good cooking show, we've done a little prep work ahead of time. So in this bowl, I have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I've already whisked all of that together so it's ready when we need it. In this bowl, I put a cup of sugar, and to that cup of sugar, I'm gonna add a half a cup of melted butter, I'm joined today by my colleague, Kristen Stewart. She's here manning the camera and also is there to take any questions or comments that you might have for us. So be sure to type in a comment or a question and um, we'd love for you to share. We'd love for you to comment or send us a question. So there's that. And I'm just gonna give that a little mix here. There we go. Now, um, 
I am a trained pastry chef, and uh, one of the things that I strongly believe in is that your baked goods are no better than the eggs that you use. So I get eggs from my farmer down the road, and this recipe calls for two of them. So I'm putting in two really nice eggs. And then I'm gonna beat this just a little bit to incorporate them. The nice part about this recipe is it is something simple that you can do in just one pot. And um, that's one of the things that Julie mentions in her, her, uh, her recipe, sorry, I meant to say in one bowl. And that does help here uh, when you're doing it in a kitchen. Uh, we have a nice kitchen here. We have a microwave and a toaster oven. Uh, but it's not a fancy kitchen. Oh, I see we already have a question. Yep. Um, Phil is asking, uh, what is the total time needed to make this cake? Start well, from start to finish, it would probably take um, about an hour, a little more for the decorating at the end. But prepping, obviously, is about 15 minutes. It needs about 10 minutes to come to um, pressure in the instant pot and then it cooks for 30 minutes in the instant pot and then it needs to a quick release and then you bring it out and cool it for five minutes place it on a plate and then uh, you can put it in a refrigerator to cool it enough until you can frost it you don't want to frost this cake when it's too hot so an hour to an hour and a half and that includes all of the coming to pressure time and also the cooling time before you can put the glaze on the cake and decorate it. That's a really good question. Thanks, Bill. Okay. So I have my eggs and my sugar all beaten uh, with the butter. And now I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of whole milk plain yogurt. And I'm also going to add, I think it is a quarter cup of lemon juice, which is about the juice of two large lemons. So I've already juiced my lemons today, and I'm adding that. Now I think I'm going to switch to my whisk and just get all of that nice and mixed together. I like this because you don't need anything more than a spatula and a whisk to get this cake in the Instant Pot. When I went to Lucky's this morning, we have a wonderful new grocery store here in Traverse City, Lucky's Market, and um, we get a lot of our supplies for uh, the recipes that we do on our blog, and now for our live Facebook cooking show. Uh, we get all of our supplies from our friends at Lucky's Market. So shout out to all of you lovely people over at Lucky's. We love doing business with you. And um, when I went there this morning and I was checking out and I was telling the very nice young lady that was helping me about what we were using all of these groceries for this morning, she was like, what is the Instant Pot? And I thought, really? There's somebody left on earth who doesn't know what the Instant Pot is? Um, Amazon sold more Instant Pots on Prime Day than they did any other product. Can you imagine that? It is the most popular product anywhere right now, and everyone wants an Instant Pot. Some people who have a six quart now want the eight quart or the three quart so that they have more options. Um, Instant Pot love is a hashtag on uh, both Instagram and Twitter, and it's because people absolutely love their Instant Pots, and we think if you have an Instant Pot, you're gonna love the quick and carry bag to keep it in. So, anyway, we're almost done here with this part about it. So, I noticed this when I made the first cake today. This is actually a pretty thick batter. And um, as with most things that you make in the Instant Pot, it stays really, really moist all the way through the cooking and then even after it's uh, cooled. So 
so I'm just going to make sure I've got all my ingredients stirred in. And as I mentioned before, I have buttered and floured the cake pan, and that's really important. You have to flour the cake pan, and that is for ease of taking the, pot, the, can, uh, the cake out at the other end. There we go. All right. Now, here we go. I'm going to grab our prepared pan. And I'm going to talk just a little bit about what's in the Instant Pot waiting for us. Uh, you put your trivet in the Instant Pot with a cup of water. And the Instant Pot needs the water to come to pressure. If you just put the cake in without any water, you would never get a result. So it's really important to not skip that part of the process. So you put a cup of water the trivet, and I'm going to show you a handy little thing that has become all the rage on the Instant Pot lists on Facebook. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. Uh, you have to be able to get your cake out of the very hot Instant Pot. So you make a sling, and the sling goes under this uh, cake pan, and it allows you to put it up and down. We'll get to that in just a second. One of the other things that's important to remember is that you have to make sure that your toggle, your steam toggle, is closed. Okay. Now, all you need to do is take a long piece. Uh, this is about uh, maybe 16 or 18 inches of tin foil, and I folded it twice to make this band. And this is extremely important that you um, take your cake pan, now, I forgot a step, so I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to put some of the... I already had prepared some of this um, lemon zest, and I'm just going to stir a little in, because we want this to be real lemony. The other thing that um, I'll mention right now while I'm doing this is that I thought because it's uh, summer in Michigan and we have such delicious berries here, I prepared some berries to go with the cake. And so what I did is I put um, some fresh locally grown blueberries, some of the lemon zest and a little bit of sugar in a bowl. And I let that macerate for about a half an hour while we were waiting for the first cake to be done. And then that can be used as your decoration, and it can also be used when you serve the cake to give everybody a little treat with the cake. There. Now, we have the zest in our pan with it. And you're just going to take this over to your Instant Pot. And you're going to fold it together so that you've made yourself a little handle. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm going to go over to the Instant Pot, and this part is really important, making sure I have enough water. I'm just going to lower the pan down, and I'm going to make sure that my toggle is set to sealing. 
And the Instant Pot always lets you know when you've done it right by singing its little song. You're going to put your uh, setting on manual, and then you're going to adjust it to, on mine, I discovered that 30 is the best place to start. So if you've never used an Instant Pot before, one of the parts of this process is the Instant Pot will tell you when it's starting to steam by clicking on, and that way you know that it's going to be getting up to pressure. And there's a little silver button in the back, and it's important to wait until that button has popped before you know that the uh, countdown is going to go on. So it'll come to pressure, and then you'll see the 30 that you've set your, um, your pot for, and then it will count down while it is cooking. So I want to shout out one more time to Julie Hahn. Thank you, Julie, for your delicious cake recipe. Julie can be found at instantlydelicious.com. And um, she has a lot of delicious recipes on her blog. And that is where I found this and a couple others that we're going to try here at Quick and Carry. I also want to shout out to all the people here at Quick and Carry who help with uh, and eat all the good food that we make. It is a wonderful thing to be able to feed our co-workers, and we do it a lot on a Friday. Oh, we have another question. Yep, we just got a question uh, message to us from Anne. She's wondering if you can do this gluten-free. Absolutely, you can do this gluten-free. If you use a type of gluten-free one-on-one flour, which are made by all the major brands of flour now, Bob Red Mill, um, Pillsbury makes a really good one, Krusty's makes a really good one, you would just use the exact same amount. So each of these recipes calls for one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and you would just sub in gluten-free flour at the exact same ratio. The other thing is you could also make this cake vegan and you would just have to use something like Earth Balance for the butter and an almond or soy yogurt for um, the full fat yogurt that we use. But this could be made both of those alternatives and it would turn out just fine and it would be absolutely delicious. Please sure to let us know if you have any other questions or comments. Um, we will now, um, let's take one more question. Let's see. Oh, uh, here's another question. Someone just messaged us. Um, what kind of yogurt did you use? Oh, well today I used a whole milk yogurt that I got at Lucky's. And this is a Green Valley Organics lactose free, but you're just going to want to use a whole milk yogurt. Obviously, you could use a full, uh, a less uh, full fat one. You could use uh, 2% yogurt, but I would not recommend using Greek yogurt because it will be too thick in the recipe. And this is already a very um, pudding like cake. It's very dense and it's very rich and it's very moist and so you wouldn't want to go with uh, even thicker or more moist yogurt so i use just a regular whole milk yogurt but that was a really good question thank you for that um all right so let's review the recipe is for lemon yogurt cake you use uh, basic ingredients that you can bring to work with you or keep in your office um, kitchen like we do here at Quick and Carry. Um, I did use uh, fresh lemon juice and you need to bring a grater so that you can make your uh, lemon zest. In the background I can hear the pot coming up to uh, pressure now which tells me that we're on the right track for cooking the other cake. Um, once the first cake was uh, done and came out of the instant pot I uh, removed it from uh, the springform pan. I put it on a plate and put it in the refrigerator uh, to cool down. And I made everybody in the office leave it alone until I could get it frosted. 
The frosting on this is just a glaze that's made with uh, confectioner's sugar and some more fresh squeezed lemon juice. And um, after I whisked that together, I just put it over the cake and then I decorated it with some, uh, as you can see, some um, lemons and the glazed blueberries. And I can't wait to dig in. How about you, Kristen? Waiting all day. <laughs> okay, I think it's time, everyone. So thanks for joining us. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can type them in and we will follow any questions that come in on the Quick and Carry Facebook page. Be sure that you share this with your friends um, and stay tuned. We're going to do this more often here at Quick and Carry. We love food, we love to cook, and we love the Instant Pot. So we'll be back again for another live cooking show here at Quick and Carry. And in the meantime, I'm going to go find all of my colleagues and we're going to have a really good time digging into Julie's delicious lemon yogurt cake that was made in the Instant Pot. Bye from Traverse City, Michigan and the Quick and Carry team. Have a great day.